Hey, good morning, guys. It is still chilly out here in the desert. I think it's in the low 40s today. It's not expected to get much higher than 42, I think. Anyway, that's frigid for us. I know for a lot of you, that's a, a balmy day, but not for us. Anyway, so what I've done is I have, um, again, moving on with this, I have masked this off. These letters are inset. They're going to be white inset, which I very rarely do because I hate it, but that's what the customer wants. So we'll go through that process, but everything else is gonna be black. So I'm using my primer. Now, again, because it's kind of chilly out here, I've had these in actually in the studio and in front of the heater. So remember in the summertime, I keep them in the fridge. In the wintertime, I keep them in a warm room to the point where, you know, I'm, I'm kind of temperature controlling that stuff. Anyway, so. Uh, this is redwood. This does not have any sanding sealer on it. I generally don't find that that is necessary on a redwood unless you tend to overspray. But I try to avoid that when possible. Those of you, those of you that have watched for a while may have heard that once or twice. Um, so I am just going to kind of hit all my my high spots and. Then I will turn it. I think I'm going to go ahead. This is again a two sided sign. I'm going to go ahead and lay it on its side, on, on its back. And then I'm going to, oh, I put a nice uh, deep bevel. I don't think you guys have seen that yet. That's with a 45 degree chamfer bin. I put a nice heavy bevel. I can't remember whether you guys have seen that or not. Oh, did I? I can't remember. It, everything's a blur, <laughs> a frozen blur. Anyway, so I'm just, again, guys, keep that can moving. And uh, don't leave it in one spot where it pulls up. That's where you have a bleeding issue. So then I'm going to turn it upside down. Normally speaking, in the summertime, that would already be dry, at least here. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and just lightly catch the bottoms of those letters. This can is actually almost empty. But that is, uh, that is gonna do it for that side. So, that is it for that side. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side off camera. Then we come back, we'll get into those white. All right, you guys, so the black is all dry. I've masked it off because I am now going to spray these white. I am going to use this uh, Krylon primer. Again, it doesn't say primer slash paint, just white primer. And I've already, I wanted to test it to make sure that it would work the way I wanted it to. And here's, uh, here's just a test piece. I just did some doodles on uh, this same piece actually that came off of here. Anytime you experiment with something new, try to use the same material that you plan on your project. Anyway, this is two coats of the white. Normally I, I hate using white spray because it doesn't cover very well, but I found that this white primer actually covers pretty well with two coats. So it, um, it sprays pretty good and it didn't bleed. I didn't get any bleeding in it with it at all. So I'm just putting, I'm going to end up putting two fairly light coats. It still doesn't cover like I like it to, but uh, I think it actually is going to look pretty, pretty good. And then once the sign is all done, the, um, the outset letters we're going to paint white. I say we, but I really mean. Not me. <laughs> I knew I'd get that reaction. Anyway, I don't know why I get myself talked into uh, painting because I really don't care for it. All right, so now, being as it's 40 degrees out here, I'm going to take this back in the warm room, let it dry, put a second coat on. When we come back, we'll be sanding. Okay, guys, so let's get this thing sanded off. Here we go.
Okay, so that was with the, um, I think this is a 40 grit. Isn't it 40? Yeah. So remember, guys, um, I am I'm kind of changing my tune as far as switching over to this and the, um, the random orbital rather than the belt sanders. But remember how easy this thing is to clean. So this is one of those belt cleaners. Works really, really well. So now let's use the random orbital. And I think I've got an 80 grit on this random orbital. So let's do the finish sand. Okay, let's reveal that thing. Now, over in this area, I kind of let that random orbital kind of go wonky on me a little bit and dip down. So I'll touch that up. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and uh, blow that thing off, see what it looks like. <sighs> Still not a fan of white inset letters, but that's what the customer wanted. Now these are going to be white too. We're going to paint these white. So you can see that uh, that it kind of, how that random orbital, I kind of let it tip a little bit on me, but that's all right. Easy to fix. We'll be right back and we'll fix that up. We're filming? Okay. So. In an instance like this, that's where the Sharpie could come into play. Now I could use actually, wow, I didn't have my strings in. I meant to tuck those in. I'm glad that Sander didn't catch it. That would have been embarrassing. Um, I could use the primer and just spray it on a paper towel or on a Q-tip or something or a little brush and do it that way. But Sharpie's a pretty good match for this black primer. Down in your seal. Hmm? Down in, in the middle of your C and between your, no, C down the bottom. C, company. oh, company, yep. Got it, there was, <sighs> yep, I think I got it. That looks pretty good. All right, so that is uh, pretty good. I may, you know, inspect that and see if I need to go over it with the 120. Um, but now I'm going to go ahead and uh, sand the other side, get the other side exactly like this one. Then we'll come back and do, we'll do some finishing. All right, guys. So I was getting ready to put a finish on this thing. And the more I looked about at it and the more I thought about it, I really don't like those white letters. And you know how they say the customer is always right? Wrong. The customer was wrong. So... Here's the deal. I called the customer and said, guys, I know you really wanted white on those white on those inset letters, but trust me that they're not going to show up the way you think they are. We're going to do white here, but we're, uh, but I said, you know, please let me spray in black. It's still your call, but uh, you just don't understand. So they said, absolutely, Eric, whatever you think is right. If you think it'll look better with them black, then do them black. So 
I am going to spray these things. Here's what I'm going to do. I sand it off. I don't want to do any more sanding than absolutely necessary. So I masked it off. But there's one thing I did want to show you. I didn't warn you on this, babe. If you look, guys, look right in here. There's a little knot that I failed to fill in. There's a little bit of a crack right there that I failed to fill in with my star bond. So always remember that before you get ready to spray, check uh, to see if there's any little tiny micro spots that will uh, fill that that black ink or that black uh, primer will get into that you don't want to. So uh, what I need to do is I need to put a little piece of masking tape over that. Just to absolutely make sure that no black gets down into that that little groove. Anyway, that's just a tip. Be sure and check before you uh, before you spray. These I think are just fine. I don't think there's any other issues. So I'm gonna spray these black. You guys see me do that many times before. I'm gonna spray these black, sand it off again, and then we'll come back and then we'll get into the finishing. All right, so um, got all the letters black, uh, sanded it off, did my finish sand. Now we're going into the finishing. So I'm gonna use my normal critter gun and czar. I've got this, this water-based czar. There's the can of it right there. I set it so you guys can see what it is. This is the best stuff that I've found. It's my favorite by far. Um, I've got it set at about 60, 65 pounds of uh, pressure. That should be just about right. Let's uh, get some finish on it. Now here's one of the drawbacks of doing a two-sided sign. I'm spraying this and then I have to let it dry before I turn it over. Otherwise I'll end up with marks on the back side. That's what I really dislike about doing a two-sided sign is the finishing process is the work. It takes twice as long to finish. So there's the first coat. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a few more coats on this thing. And then when we come back, we'll get into, I'll go ahead and, and I'll do, uh, once this dries, I'll flip it over, do a coat on the same, on the back side, on the other side. Then, I'll just keep, um, I hope I got this good enough guys. If not, I'm sorry. We're kind of out in the glare. But yeah. We're out in the, and it's kind of sun and shine and, and, and cloudy. Clouds, yeah. yeah. Um, but anyway, so I'll just have to alternate it, let it dry, alternate it, spray it, turn it over. Got to do that four or five times complete. But now you guys have an idea and I've just got it sitting on little sticks down below. But again, once this dries, I'll turn it over, finish the other side, and then I'll do that same process three or four more times. And then when we come back, uh, we'll paint those letters uh, white. So we'll be back. Hey guys, all right, so we are almost wrapped up here. I've got four coats of finish on both sides of this sign. Again, um, I really don't like doing two-sided signs. They're really a pain in the butt. Uh, sorry for my language, but they are, they're just a pain. Uh, so you have to be just super careful. It takes twice as long to get a finish on a sign. So you can see here, uh, the sign actually came out really good. I'm very happy with it. But um, what you have to be careful of is when you're, when you're finishing one side, you can see I've got rags down to make sure that it's not leaving marks on the other side. Um, so I left about two or three hours in between each coat on each side on this thing. But again, uh, I used the czar and the critter. This is the, as, as good of uh, exterior finish as I've ever used. I've had really good luck with it, but this will be a good test. Uh, because this is r someone right here local, so I'll get a really good idea of how this stuff holds up in the desert weather um, long term. So I'm excited to kind of see how it works out. 
Anyway, so um, we are going to come right back and we'll get into the, the painting of the letters. We're going to use the one shot, but we'll be right back and get into it. Okay, so I've just got a little, uh, a little brush here. I've got the, mm, I've got the one shot. I don't even know if that's showing up. The one shot white. Uh, it's the white enamel one shot. If you guys are new to the channel, this stuff is my favorite uh, color, uh, favorite paint to put on outset letters. Um, and you guys probably, if you've been watching for the last week or so, you probably saw our video on Saturday where we talked about the the spray color. But this is, um, and on that, I talked at the very beginning that I would be doing a sign pretty soon where I'm coloring outset letters. So this is very tedious, it's very boring, and I hate it. But it's necessary. And it actually really makes it show up well. So what I try to do is get the the letters furthest away from me when I'm doing this because then I, I work my way this way and I work my way from the left to the right because I'm right-handed. I guess it would be the opposite if you're left-handed. Anyway, guys, so I all I do is just get some of this stuff, put it on there, and spread it around. This I, It looks like this thing's got some squirrely hairs in it cheap little brush but anyway I'm not a professional painter guys so uh, you guys that are I have uh, a tremendous amount of respect for you and it's just not what I do I just do what I have to 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 get it completed so I think you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to slop some paint on the rest of this thing. When I come back, we'll have this done. I'll stand it up where you can see what the finished product looks like. We'll be right back. All right, folks, there it is. It is, uh, I've still got to put white on the other side, but other than that, it's all done, ready to go. So I um, hope you guys enjoyed this process. Uh, again, anytime you're doing a two-sided sign, just take into account the, all the hassle and, and uh, the extra time and handling that goes into making the two-sided sign. That's why I have said for years and years and years that when you're trying to price a two-sided sign, your customer may think that they're going to get it cheaper because it's two-sided, because you're only paying for material once, but it's not the material that makes the uh, the price of the sign more than your labor. So my advice is anytime you're pricing a two-sided sign, always, uh, for me, it's always twice the price. And uh, I'd rather have two one-sided signs, to be honest with you. So anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, questions, email me directly, eric at makeawoodsign.com. I'm on Instagram every day, makeawoodsign. If you haven't subscribed yet, we'd love for you to subscribe. Click that little bell icon so you get notified. We do four videos a week. And um, there's the website if you have any uh, need any supplies or anything. And um, that's it. We'll see you on the next one. Have a great one. We love you. Bye-bye.